I'm back again. I want you to listen to this. See, many of our framers, they knew it. Thomas Jefferson, Arthur Wright, the Kennedy Resolutions, check this out. Here's what it stated. Resolved that several states composing of the United States of America are not united in the principle of unlimited submission to their government, but that by a compact under the style and title, a constitution of the United States and amendments thereto, they constituted a general government for special purposes, delegated to that government certain de definite powers, reserving each state to itself. Now listen, the mass of right to their own self-government and that whensoever the general government assumes undelegated powers, it acts, and the acts of it are un unauthoritative, void, and of no force, that to this compact each state, as a state, and its integral part, states forming as to itself the other party. That government, created by its compact, was not made the exclusive or final judge of the extent of powers delegated to itself. Since they would have made its discretion and not the Constitution the measure of its powers, but, as all, in the case of the compact among the powers, having no common judge, each party has an equal right to judge for itself, not Democrat and Republican Party. Each party has the right to judge for itself, as well as the infractions and a mode of measures of redress. Each state. That's exactly right. Similarly, let me add this. James Madison, Virginia Resolution, 1798, to this assembly, the Virginia, what? Virginia, this state, doth explicitly and preemptively declare that its views, the powers of the federal government as resulting from the compact to which the states and parties limited <clears throat> plain sense of intention of the instrument constituting the compact, as no further valid, they are authorities by grants enumerated in that compact, and that in the case of a deliberate, powerful and dangerous exercise of their powers, not granted by the said compact, the states who are parties thereof have the right and are not bound, but to impose for arresting the progress of evil and for maintaining within their respective limits rights and authorities, liberties appertaining to them. My, 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 my. Are you hearing what I'm trying to tell you tonight, American people? Are you listening to me? Listen to this. Listen to this. So we see that men who were privy to the Constitution as it was being drafted did not feel the supremacy clause meant unlimited submission to the central authority. Felt that the federal government was manifesting a panic for construing the Constitution incorrectly. In a, incorrectly in order to enlarge their powers. Mm -hmm. Now, think about what I just said. Our founding fathers saw this. And they thought that they were doing it incorrectly, not interpreting the Constitution right, federal government, in order to increase their powers. How you like that? Think about what I'm telling you. Do you some do you some do you some looking on 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 the internet while you still can and it's still free and available before it gets censored? Yeah, then it's coming. I want you to look at the police brutality. I want you to look at the unlawful searches of vehicles. I want you to look at all the things that are taking place. We have good law enforcement out there. But we also got corrupt. We got some stinking people out there that ain't got enough sense to pull piss out of a boot, let alone want to stick on a badge and act like they uh, John Wayne. And I got something I want to say right now because I feel compelled to say it. You who are working for the New World Order, you who want to take the rest of our rights, you who want to come and want to be in police brutality and you who have said well they promised you this if you do that if and when civil unrest takes place things of this nature they promised you a rose garden let me tell you something about a rose garden my friend you can run all through the pastures in Georgia and grab dandelions and pick them all you want to Just my kids can do it and they but you know what? 
Let me tell you something, you New World Order elitist. They got you thugs behind you doing their work. They're doing your work uh, and, and, and think that you're sitting back like that. That rose garden that you've been promised to work for the New World Order for to obtain, you can't run through there and pick it like you can dandelions and flowers, see? Because I'm going to tell you something. When you come to get that rose, there's thorns on it. And I'm speaking profoundly and prophetically. Go out there and grab a rose and think it's yours when you don't have the right to do it. There's thorns all in it and it's going to hurt you and it's going to make you bleed. And you could very well bleed to death. I speak prophetically right now. I'm telling you, they want to take our rights and want to take our freedom and want to take our guns. The American people are waking up. And let it be known this day that there are a lot of us that's already awake. Yeah, you know, we're minding our own business. But see, when you meet us on the street, you got to think. you got to ask yourself this question. You who are working for the New World Order, ask yourself this question. Is this a good day for me to die? Because there'll come a time, according to the Bible, or you're going to have to make your decision. Are you going to work for the satanic new world order? Or are you going to stand up for what's right? For God and what's right? It's time we took a stand for God and right in this nation. American people say we got enough of this garbage. Kick them out. Put somebody in there else. Maybe they'll be hoping, pray to God they're fit to serve this nation. You understand me? I'm speaking the truth to you tonight, America. I'm telling you how we take this country back and we defeat the new world order that's already in operation. We can defeat it. And we take it back when we rise up. Now you know that what I'm telling you tonight is, uh, is uh, against some new laws they passed. See, see they passed these laws that uh, the, uh, you know, the Homegrown Terrorist Act. Look it up. Google it. Search it. Look it up. It's for real. It's not an alien spaceship. It's for real. Yeah, that when we speak against our federal government and things of this nature. Well, look here, buddy. The Constitution is not a GD piece of paper to me. The Constitution is alive and within me. Just like Jesus Christ is alive and within me. I won't bow down to Satan. It's just like they told him in Acts. Judge for yourself whether it's right in your eyes whether we're going to obey you or God. I'm going to obey God. And God put me on this earth to make a difference. He could have put me on this earth back when Elvis was there. He could have put me in the 29 depression. Glory to God, he could have put me in the medieval times. He could have put me on the earth when he put Jesus on the earth walking. You understand me? I could have been there with Peter and Paul. But God chose to put me in this generation. And he chose you in this generation. And you know, we've been running a marathon ever since the creation of people. We run a marathon. And I got some good news for the American people tonight. See, when you run a marathon race, they say the best runner's for last. Hey, hey, how about that? That's right. I'm firing you up tonight. I'm telling you, I felt it all over me when I said that. He saved, God has saved the best for last. That's right. I know we live in a corrupt world full of evil. I understand all that. But God put some people here that'll stand up and be counted for, and it's time we stood up and got accounted for. It's time that we, the people, that we the people stood up and said enough's enough. Enough's enough. See, we're supposed to walk wisely, redeeming the times because the days are evil. We're not supposed to walk around like some stupid robot and just hope and pray to God that our senators will do something or our congressmen or our representatives. Because like I said again, the majority of them ain't worried about you, ain't concerned about you, and can care less about you. But see, I care about you. But guess what? I'm not asking for your money. I'm not asking for your tax dollars. I'm asking you to stand up and be an American. I'm asking you to stand up and use your God-given rights to, to let's just get this country back before it's everlasting too late. That's what I'm asking you. That's how we defeat the New World Order. Well, that sounds too simple. Well, well that's the thing about it. The Bible says it's the simple things that confound the wise. They think they wise. Well, all we got to do is simply say we've had enough of it. 15, 20, 30 million of us. 5, 10 million of us. 500,000 of us. Gideon whipped them with a with a few. 